Hello dears, I'll just cover a few of the topics in permutation and combinations which are a bit difficult to understand in the permutation and combination. I'll just start with the rank of a word. Okay, what do you mean by that? First, I'll clear that. Suppose I'm having a word W H O. In how many ways I can arrange this? Okay, that you know it's a very easy thing. That is six, or you can say it is three factorial. Okay, and if I arrange this in all the possible manners, and if I arrange them in the dictionary, then the possibilities are first you have to start with H O W, then H W O, then O H W, then O W H, similarly W H O and W O H. If I see all the arrangements, then the rank of the word is fifth. The rank of the word is fifth. It means what? Okay, if you don't know any of the method, if you want to arrange all these things in a dictionary, then we can arrange them in the six manners, and the rank of that particular word is fifth. But if the word is bit lengthier, then how to find out that? And we are having the methods, but these methods are bit lengthy. I'll show you a shortcut method to find out that the what is the rank of that word. If I'm having a word number N U M B E R. Now it is total number of combinations. Total number of combinations will be six factorial. 6 factorial means that is 720. Now it is not at all possible to enlist all these words in your copy or in your uh, notebook. Okay, then how to find out the rank of that word? Okay, in your academics you are having so many methods to find out the rank of that word. But I will just show you a shortcut method to find out the rank of this word. Okay, okay students you just see how many letters are there? There are 6 letters. Okay. Now we just start with one lesser than that. Okay, first one is 5 factorial, then second one is 4 factorial, then 3 factorial, then 2 factorial, then 1 factorial, and at the last we have to add the 1 that is plus 1. Okay, and one more thing we have to do is one more thing we have to do is we have to arrange them alphabetically. We have to arrange them alphabetically. Okay, then this will be B, E, M, N, R, U. Now the normal method is to is that we have to start with either B, E, M. But my method will be different, and you can find out the answer within one or two steps. Okay, okay. We have to start with the first letter that is N. Now you just see in the second that how many letters are there before N. And it is B E M. B E M means how many letters are there before N? That is 3. So we have to multiply 3 with the 5 factorial and we have to cancel out the N. We have to cancel out the N. Now you just see the second thing. Second letter is U. How many letters are before U which are not cancelled out? And these letters are B, E, M and R. How many letters are there? It's 4. So we have to write 4 over here. And we have to cancel out U and U also. Okay. Two letters are cancelled out. Now you just see. I have to start with M. How many letters are there before M? Before M there is only two letters. So you just put 2 over here and cancel out M also. Okay. What is the next letter here? Okay, it's B. Now, how many letters before B? You can see that only there is no letter before B. So, how many options before B? That is only 0. So, I have to cancel out the B also. Okay, you just see the next. How many letters are there before E? Again, there is no letter before E. So, I have to put 0 also. I have to cancel out E and E also. And I have added 1. That is for the place value. That is for the place value. So if I add up them, this will be 5 factorial into 2 will be 360. 4 factorial into 4 will be 96. 6 factorial into 2 will be 12. And others will be 0 and 0. If I add up them, then 